Hi, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and today we're celebrating the very first dance concerts thrown by the San Francisco Bay Area's two prominent concert promoters of the 1960s. And I'm talking, of course, about Bill Graham and Chet Helms, and the BG and uh, Bill Graham Presents and Family Dog series of concerts. Now, starting first, we have the very first concert poster put on by the um, family dog when Chet Helms was involved. This is a nice um, black and white poster, as you can see here from the, uh, from the scan, as I get up close to the screen. Yeah, it's a really nice specimen, and um, of course no colors on this one, although over subsequent years some fans would color in the poster for the fun of it. But um, this is nicknamed Tribal Stomp, because that's what it says right in the middle in words over the Native American Indian photograph in the middle. And uh, the Family Dog Collective of uh, four people put on a few dance concerts before this one, uh, most notably a tribute to Dr. Strange, which I've also covered on this video blog, the larger poster. But this is the first one where Chet Helms got involved, and he said, let's start a, a numbered poster series, and uh, voila, FD1 was born. So the date of the show was February 19th, 1966. I think it's kind of quaint that it's a Saturday night, because those nights were available back in the early days, you know, all the prime spots were open. And uh, the acts and is at the Fillmore Auditorium, and the acts are at Jefferson Airplane and Big Brother and the Holding Company, but without Janis Joplin. She would not join the group until that summer of 1966. And uh, again, the Fillmore Auditorium, when uh, back in the very earliest days, when Bill Graham and Chet Helms sort of uh, rubbed elbows and shared the place for about a month before Graham just basically forced out Chet and he went over to the Avalon Ballroom for the rest of his family dog events. Now this poster is credited to uh, two designers really. It was drawn up by Wes Wilson, who is of course obviously the, a very prominent early San Francisco concert poster designer for both Bill Graham and Chet Helms, and the image in the center was suggested by Helms, who actually used a lot of Native American imagery in a lot of his posters, including the Family Dog logo itself. Print run was pretty small on these first ones, uh, usually reported as 250, and then after that, after the show, they started printing a lot more, and they would um, designate them down in the lower right-hand corner with a thing that said, um, numerology that said number 1-2 to designate the second printings, but this is definitely a first original from, uh, from FD1. Tribal Stomp, featuring the airplane and Big Brother, quite a nice collectible poster. Going over to the Graham side of things now, with um, his first poster, known of course as BG-1, you've got, once again, the Jefferson Airplane. So they're the headliners of both the, um, you know, both the first posters from the FD and the BG series. And this is Bill Graham's first full-fledged dance concert event held at the Fillmore Auditorium. And um, the Jefferson Airplane, of course, at this time had Sidney Anderson as their lead vocalist. Uh, Grace Slick wouldn't join for quite a while. In fact, it was even half a year before the first Airplane album, J.A. Takes Off, with Sidney singing, would even come out. Now, the artist credited for this poster, and as you can see, there's not a lot of artwork. It's mostly just simple print and a picture of, um, uh, you know, in the middle, an image, I should say, of a horse with airplane wings and everything on it, uh, was one Peter Bailey. And... Uh, Peter Bailey, when he designed the poster before the show, and uh, they went to the printer, down in the lower left corner, it said, Design Peter Bailey East Wind Printers. But uh, reports have it that Bill Graham was at the printer and saw the, pr the posters coming off the press with Bailey's credit and said, Wait a minute, and for whatever reason, did not want to share credit, so they stripped it off and printed the rest of them. That is one of these. It does not have the Peter Bailey credit, East Wind Printers down there in the lower left-hand corner, it's plain yellow. But it's definitely a BG-1 printed before the show to sell tickets, so there's two versions with and without the Peter Bailey credit. If you do have one of these posters, and if you're wondering if it was printed before the show or not, pretty easy to tell. The, um, the originals were printed on yellow paper, so that means they're yellow on both the back and the front. And starting with number two onwards, I should say the second printing onwards, they look the same on the front, but they were printed on white paper, so the back is white. So there you have it, a couple of historic posters from San Francisco in the mid-60s, the burgeoning rock scene there and the acid rock scene and all the great concert posters that came out of it. You can't get much better than the first 
Family Dog and the first Bill Graham concert poster both made before the first shows, respectively. <laughs> it's a mouthful today. So thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. And we'll see you for the next one here on PosterCentral.com. Have a good day. Bye-bye.